Hi, welcome to Mix and Jam, a channel about game development experimentation. Today's project is inspired by Super Mario Galaxy. In the game, Mario uses a launch star to fly from one planet to another. The whole animation feels very magical and it's a great moment to appreciate the game's environment. I wanted to try and replicate this mechanic and see if I could achieve a similar effect using Unity. So here are the steps I needed to follow for this recreation. Implement an easy way to set the path that the player follows. Set some animations for when the character is flying. And add some final assets, particles and effects. I started by importing the new Mix and Jam character, Jamo. The character includes some basic animations and also a third person camera control for prototyping. In order to build the path for the launch star that was easy to edit, I decided to use the dolly track feature from Cinemachine. With this feature, it's easy to edit the waypoints for the path that the dolly cart follows. On the dolly cart object, I changed the position unit's parameter from distance to normalized. This way, the path position is referenced from 0 to 1. Instead of making the player itself follow the dolly cart object, I created an empty game object to serve as a parent of the player so I can change the rotation from those objects individually. I added a sphere collider on the path object in order to use it as a trigger. And then on the character script, I used the onTrigger function to detect when the player is inside the trigger. Once the character is inside the trigger and there's input, the launch sequence starts. For this particular animation sequence, I decided to use the DoTween plugin. With DoTween, it is possible to create a sequence of events that plays animations one after the other using Append or at the same time using Join. In the first sequence, I append a DoMove function to make the player move to the center of the trigger and had a DoRotate function joining that event to reset the player's rotation. The second sequence is the path movement itself. DoTween also has the ability to tween floats using the DoVirtualFloat function. So on this sequence, I made the position of the dolly cart go from 0 to 1. Once the player is following the path, I started creating some custom poses for when the character is flying and also rolling before it lands. Then I headed over to Mixamo to download a falling animation. Using Unity's animator, I was able to create a float parameter that was the same as the path position. So in this way, I was able to set the transition of the character animations based on the path position. I also added some rotation to the player on the Y axis. Right before the second sequence, I add some tween animations for the character that pulls and rotates it before the launch. Since the path position was normalized, I was able to set things to happen when the player reached 70% of the track. In this case, I made the parent of the character rotate on the x-axis when the rolling animation is happening. Then, for some cinematic effects, I added a camera trigger object that changes the active Cinemachine camera. I made the triggers be dolly carts as well, so I can easily position them on any path. Since I was using a tween to make the main dolly cart position go from 0 to 1, I decided to add some easing to the movement. For this particular tween, I created my own animation curve to decide when the path was faster or slower. Then I downloaded this model of a launch star on Sketchfab and implemented it on the project. I created animations for the launch star also using sequences, by rotating and moving the stars. Then I started adding some particles to the whole animation. 
The first one was a particle emission that followed the player when flying. The second one was a growing particle when the launch is preparing. I also added an emission with star sprites that use radial velocity over lifetime to converge on the center of the object. I used a similar emission for the launch explosion. The last one was a smoke sprite emission on the explosion that I also used on my character so that it emits when it lands. I added some screen shake for when the launch starts and when the player lands. I also added a trail render to the dolly cart object that activated when the player was flying. To change the actual sky for a galaxy, I downloaded the skybox set from RPG Whitelock on the asset store and then I modified some of the textures by adding some stars on Photoshop. And finally, I added some post-processing to the scene like bloom, depth of field, and color correction. And after a bit of adjustments, this is how it looked. The link for the project's repository is on the description below. Mixing Jam is only real because of amazing people helping out on Patreon, including these top tier supporters. So if you want to see more videos like this, please consider helping out on Patreon, subscribing, and sharing this video with friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.